ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் தி டாபிக் தட் இஸ் அவலேக கல்பனா ஸோ அவலேகா இஸ் தி மோஸ்ட் காமன் செகண்டரி கல்பனா ஆர் டோசேஜ் ஃபார்ம் விச் ஹேஸ் பீன் எம்ப்ளாய்டு இன் வேரியஸ் டிசார்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் ப்ராடக்ட் இஸ் கெய்னிங் பாப்புலாரிட்டி டியூ டு இட்ஸ் ஈஸி அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் பேலட்டபிலிட்டி அண்ட் லாங்கர் ஷெல்ஃப் லைஃப் so avaleha is a semi solid preparation of herbal drugs prepared in decoction or extracts of different herbs by adding sweetening agents like jaggery sugar or sugar candy so let's consider the etymology of avaleha the word avaleha has been derived from the word that is root word lih aswadane here lih means the substance which is licked and aswadane means that which has good taste now let's look into the definition according to sharangadhar acharya that is avaleha is the semi solid mass obtained by continuous heating of kwadadi basic kalpanas it can be termed as rasakriya also here we are going to read the definition that is according to sharangadhar acharya Uh, he has described like this kwadadinam punaha pakat ghanatvam sarasakriya so avalehascha lehasyat tan matrasyat palonmida that is uh, we are doing a repeated paga of kwadadi dravyas and we will we will get a uh, compound having a thicker consistency it can be termed as tasakriya or avaleha or leha and its dose is one pala now the synonyms of avaleha it has got various synonyms like avaleha leha lehya avalehya rasakriya ghana etc now let's look into the ingredients of a typical avaleha for making an avaleha we require first an aqueous medium that can be either a kashaya swarasa or any other liquid preparation second one is the substrate or madhura dravya it can be sugar sugar candy and the jaggery which varies according to different formulations and sugar medium will act as a preservative here next is aushadha uh, dravyas that is they are also known as the prakshepa churna here the powdered drugs which are rich in volatile principles make the avaleha more palatable and fourth one is the lipid medium it can be either grita or tila taila for frying the pulp which keeps the avaleha soft and also helps in preservation now fifth one is additives additives like honey ginger oil salts alkalis milk and milk products soup basmas according to the formulations and uh, they possess specific time for addition okay now let's look into the anukta mana of an avaleha that is if the ratio of ingredients is not specified then what are the ratio of the ingredients we have to take so uh, we have to take the ratio like this for siddha we have to take four part uh, for guda we have to take two part and dravya dravya should be four part and for churna that is one part okay now this is this is the uh, shloka that is sita chaturguna karya churna cha diguno gudaha dravam chaturgunam dadyat iti sarvatra nischayaha it is described in sharangadara samhita madhyama ganda now the method of preparation if you want to prepare an avaleha we require the following things that is the drug specified in the formulation then a wide mouth stainless steel vessel a fine sieve and a strong spatula for mixing now in case of uh, large scale production in factories superheated steam jacketed vessels are used for heating and electrically operated mixing machines are there for mixing purposes and uh, sieving is done by mechanical sifters here first of all the kashaya or swarasa is prepared 
and the sweetening agents like uh, guda, sharkara, ghanda, etc. are dissolved and uh, heated over mild fire in a clean stainless steel vessel. The blend should be filtered through a clean double layered cloth in order to remove the physical impurities present in the sweetening agent. You know the guda will contain many foreign uh, impurities. So we have to remove all those things. We have to filter the blend. Now the filtrate is again boiled and uh, reduced over mild fire to a thicker consistency that is a thread like consistency. We will call it as Tantu Paga. Then ghee or oil is added to the preparation just before attaining the Paga Lakshana. The vessel is taken out of fire after attaining Paga Lakshana and those Paga Lakshanas we will discuss later. And the fine powder of medicinal drugs known as Prakshepa Churna is added little by little and stirred well to a homogeneous mixture and allow to allow the mixture to cool here honey is added after cooling and the final product is packed and preserved in dried and airtight wide mouth inert containers so let's look into certain special preparatory methods adopted in cases of certain avaleha so first one is mani badragulam here uh, there is no heat uh, here we are not heating the mixture just by pounding all the drugs together we are preparing the avaleha so this method is termed as anagni siddha method then for in case of chavana prasha here amalaki is made into a paste and is fried in ghee and oil after removing the seeds so this is also a special preparation method adopted in case of chavana prasha and third one is Agastya Rasayana. Agastya Rasayana contains Haritaki and we uh, fry the Haritaki paste in ghee and oil. And fourth one is Kushmanda Avaleha. So the small pieces of crushed Kushmanda after taking Swarasa is fried in ghee until it becomes a golden brown color. And fifth one is Surana Avaleha. Surana that is uh, yam and uh, we are adopting the same uh, procedure as in case of Kushmanta Avaleha in case of Surana Avaleha also. Now let's uh, check the precautions that we have to take in the processing stage of Avaleha. In the pre-processing stage we have to take the fresh raw drugs for preparation of Swarasa. And in case of wet drugs, uh, it should be taken double the quantity of dry drugs in the formula. And also kashaya drugs should be added as coarsely powdered form and water should be potable. And the drugs which are used as prakshepa should be finely powdered. Also quality assured ghee and oil should be used for the preparation. Now, in case of main process stage, we have to maintain the intensity of fire throughout the procedure and also the lid should not be used to cover the vessel during the preparation of kashaya. Then the pulp should be fried till it attains brownish black color and the moisture content is lost. The fried pulp is added at the stage of tantupaga. Proper mixing should be done for the equal distribution of Prakshepa Churna to the mixture. In the proposed processing stage, the honey should be added only after the product is cooled. We have already discussed that. And the packing material uh, should be inert, wide mouth and free from contamination. So these are the precautions we have to take while preparing an avaleha. Now let's discuss the Avaleha Paga Lakshanas. We have discussed that the, we have already pointed out the Paga of Avaleha. So in classics it has been uh, described as Asana Paga Lakshana. It can be also called as Paga Kalina Lakshana and Siddha Lakshana that can be called a, uh, as Paga Anandara Lakshana. According to Sharangadara, 
சுபக்வே தந்து மத்துவம் சியாது அவலேஹோ அப்சு மஜ்ஜதி ஸ்திரத்துவம் பீடிதே முத்ரா கந்த வர்ண ரசோத்பவா திஸ் இஸ் தி சித்தி லக்ஷணா மென்ஷன்ட் பை ஆச்சாரிய ஷாரங்கதரா ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபேக்டர் தட் இஸ் அண்டர் அசன்ன பாக லக்ஷணா வி ஹாவ் டு அட்டைன் தி தந்து மத்துவா தந்து மத்துவம் மீன்ஸ் த்ரெட் லைக் அப்பியரன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் டியூ டு தி ப்ராப்பர் கன்சிஸ்டன்சி த சுகர் மிக்சர் வில் அட்டைன் எ திக்கர் கன்சிஸ்டன்சி அண்ட் வி கேன் அப்டைன் எ த்ரெட் லைக் கன்சிஸ்டன்சி ஆன் ஹீட்டிங் தி மிக்சர் ஸோ தட் இஸ் தி பாக லக்ஷணா ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பாக லக்ஷணா then apsu majjana the mixture will sinks in water due to the proper consistency if you take a uh, little quantity of water in a tumbler and uh, pour this mixture to that water then it will sink also darvi pralepa that is the mixture will sticks to the stirrer due to the proper consistency now tantuli bhavet this is also a lakshana described in bhav pragasha and vaishya uh, jaratnavali thread like appearance and chipto na plavade that is uh, if we are testing for uh, apsumajjana we can uh, observe this lakshana also that is chipto na plavade that is it will be non spreading and the chiptas to nischala stishte that will it, it will be stable immortal and will sink into the bottom of the vessel now siddha lakshana under the heading siddha lakshana we can uh, see these lakshanas that is pidito mudra fingerprints due to proper consistency of the product which is also a sign of perfect preparation so this is obtained after we have added the prakshepa churnas to the avaleha that is the end stage okay so we can see the finger of fingerprints if we press is a little amount of avaleha okay now gandha varna rasodbhava that is the another siddhi lakshana here proper order color taste and essential are the essential elements in the end product which indicates the use of genuine ingredients for the preparation so the characteristic order and taste etc will be there in the end product then then next one is the sugha marda that will the avaleha will be soft to roll and sugha sparsha it will be soft to touch and uh, also in vaisheshya ratnavali it has been mentioned as ghara sparsha that is hard to touch due to the proper consistency and powder fineness so as to assess the stability of the preparation now let's discuss the dose that is we have already discussed that that is the samanya matra of avaleha is one pala according to ajarya shargadara we have described that in the definition itself then the dose of avaleha varies from one karsha to two pala uh, according to different formulations we can see uh, it will vary accordingly okay dose should be decided after analyzing the rogi bala and roga bala now let's discuss the anupana that is adjuvants we have already discussed that topic that is anupana improves the efficacy of the drug by augmenting its potency and facilitates its easy absorption so avaleha is administered along with milk sugar cane juice panchamuli kashaya vasa kwada or other liquid substance milk yusha kashaya water and phala rasa are to be used as vehicle as per the diseased condition so according to the disease dosha predominance etc we have to select the anupana now avaleha sevana kala if the patient is having the disease in urdhva jatru gada bhaga leha should be taken in the evening time that is nishi with proper anupana but if the disease is affected to ado bhaga leha should be taken before food like this we have to adjust the sevana aushada avaleha sevana kala okay now savvidyata avadi that is shelf life according to sharangadara samhita shelf life of avaleha is 1 year and the preservation of avaleha should be uh, in wide mouth glass or porcelain jar so this is for the uh, today's topic of discussion now 
uh, if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can ask in the google classroom or in the whatsapp group okay